So, speaking about contracts, let's talk about employment contracts for physicians. What should you do? Um, again, the unique thing is that nothing can happen unless you do something. You always have to keep it in mind. This is a very unique industry. If you are signing up to be a doctor for a certain organization, they will need you a lot more than you need them because you're in high demand and only you can provide service. Now, of course, there are the doctors, but whichever position you've been hired for, only you can do it, no one else can. Uh, you should never be afraid of whoever you're talking to because they're gonna try and intimidate you, especially if you're a younger physician coming out of training, they'll tell you things that basically tell you you don't understand, you don't know how things work, and this is what it is. Well, that's fine. You can always take it home and think about it. And uh, you need to know what you're worth. Um, the average age of a primary care doctor in uh, San Francisco is 69. So that's good and bad. It's good because Hey, the 69 year old is still very healthy, they're still practicing. It's bad because realistically, I mean, how much longer can they do it for? So uh, doctors are needed, doctors are in high demand across all specialties, no matter what you do. So you need to know your worth. And uh, I don't know how many of you know this guy. And uh, who he is is not important. His name is Rafnet Adur. He is a second baseman for the Texas Rangers. He's an average ball player. This is not the point. He did sign an extension a couple years ago for $50 million, which in baseball uh, terms isn't that much. His contract isn't what's interesting. What's interesting is that he asked for two horses. Now, why? You're making $50 million. You can buy yourself 10 horses. Well, he wanted two horses. He said, the Rangers, I'll sign with you if you give me two horses. You know what the Rangers did? I gave him two horses. I was like, give him, give him whatever he wants. Horses, who cares, right? So the point is, I'm not telling you you need horses. What I'm telling you is that you are in high demand and it's totally fine to ask your hospital or your group to give you whatever you want. You will never get anything. You'll get absolutely nothing if you don't ask for it. But if you do, it will be there for you. You'll be surprised. You'll be surprised how willing certain hospitals be to give you things. Now, I wouldn't ask for anything. I wouldn't ask for a private plane necessarily, but things like car allowance, things like uniforms, things like certain days off. If you have a certain holiday you want to be off, if you want to be off on Thanksgiving every single year, and if you truly want, it should be in your contract. It absolutely should be because you'll work harder on other days. Or you'll tell them, well, I'll do something else in addition, but you need to ask for it. If you want allowance for your electronics, if you want an iPhone, new iPhone every year, yes, ask for it, why not? If you want a laptop, if you want a TV, this is okay to ask. Remember, like I said, it's almost a taboo when it comes to money and doctors, well, no longer so. Your services are needed in such great, and there's such great demand that it's totally fine to ask for it. And you know what? And if you ask for it and they don't give it to you, well, so what? At least you've asked. But nothing will happen if you don't ask. And is it okay to ask for more money? Oh yeah, definitely. Again, within reason, and uh, we'll talk about this reason soon, but don't take the first offer and don't take the I don't know or the you don't understand statement at face value.